Mm. Mm. Perfect. Hola. This is one of my favorite green smoothies. Banana, ginger, and a shitload of baby spinach leaves, along with some form nutrition, plant-based vegan protein, and some unsweetened almond milk that doesn't contain carrageenan. It's a good one. Anyway, this post-workout smoothie is designed to, I guess, replenish all the energy I just lost doing that intense, really intense, lower body, no equipment workout. You can put this down. The reason I wanted to create this is because I know a lot of you travel loads. Maybe you don't have weights at home. Maybe you can't get to the gym. There are those weeks where we just struggle to get a workout in and this is the perfect lower body workout. It will get your heart rate up high as well. It is intense even though it contains absolutely no equipment. It works your entire body obviously because it contains compound movements which means that we're using multiple joints during one particular exercise. So what we've got in these exercises are things that work the legs both back and front as well as booty perfect when you're short on time and like I said short on equipment alrighty I'm gonna stop talking now because I just want you to get into it get ready okay so before we get on with the workout what I want to do so that we can just go straight through and I don't have to give you too many instructions on how to execute each move I'm gonna show you what the moves are so that you're sort of mentally and visually prepared for it so that we can just get on and the workout will move nice and smoothly. So the first thing that we're gonna do is a warm up um, because I know that y'all are just clicking on videos and not doing your warm ups. I don't know what this accent is. Anyway, <laughs> I know that it's really tempting to kind of just click on a workout and get on with it rather than actually warming up properly. Now this is not necessarily gonna be the best possible warm up for you and I have other videos that are specifically designed to get kind of everything switched on, but it'll do for now if you're kind of short on time, okay? So the first couple of movements in the warm up are, we're gonna reach forward, hands come towards the floor, you get a nice stretch here. You're gonna walk your hands out, yeah? Find your core position. None of this, this is an Instagram push up, but I would really like you to have a nice gymnastics push up. From there, we're gonna lower down, Stretch up, lift everything off the floor if you can to get a nice stretch through the front of your hips. And then from there, we're gonna press back downward dog, stretching the hamstrings and the shoulders again. From there, you're gonna step the right leg forward, right arm goes up, come back down, step back, other side, left leg goes forward, left arm up, come back, step back, walk the hands back to the feet, and then come up to standing. Let's do it together one more time. Down, forward, dropping into low push-up. Stretch the front, press back to down dog. Right foot steps forward. If it doesn't make it, grab your ankle, pull it all the way. Right arm goes up. Hand comes back down, step back. Other side, left leg, left arm up. Hand down, step back. Walk the hands back to the feet. Stand up. Now this happens very quickly. It might feel a little overwhelming. We've just got two and a half minutes of that. Okay, so it's just that one thing. If you stuff up the movements, don't freak out too much, okay? The next exercises that we're doing, we've got four exercises to get through. This is all strictly lower body stuff, okay? So first exercise is a step back lunge. So what you're gonna do is step the left leg back or the right leg and when you do it, I want you to make sure that you tuck your tailbone. So you're squeezing your glutes, lean forward a little, and make sure that your front shin, yeah, is at a vertical line. I don't want it to be too far forward and I don't want it to be too far back. The common thing is to step back too narrow, in which case we work a lot of the quad. I want it to be both quad and a lot of hamstring and glute in this lunge. Come back up to standing. Now, I like you to get your knee to the floor. So when you step back, I want the knee to lightly kiss the floor. Then you're gonna stand back up, squeezing through the glute, driving through the heel. The reason that I say put the knee on the floor is so that each time in that lunge, we are hitting the range that I would like you to hit. Otherwise, the temptation is to just do lunges like this, which is a waste of your time, really. So then the next thing, next exercise is going to be a single leg glute bridge from the floor. So coming down onto your back, arms by your side, you're gonna lift your hips off the floor and we're gonna lift one leg off. From there, you're dropping your hips all the way down and then lifting them up. The temptation here is to really arch your back and do this. 
But again, this is a waste of your time because it's not going to work your glute the way I want it to. It's really only going to work your lower back and maybe if you're lucky, a little bit of your hamstring. Now, if you feel your hamstrings cramp up in that one, you want to make sure that your heel, your, the supporting heel is not too far away. So bring it in close enough, too close, and you'll feel your quad and you won't be able to get the extension in your hip that's required to feel it in your booty. Play around with that while we're in it. Third exercise is going to be a lateral lunge, but we're gonna stay, it's gonna be quite static. Okay, so you're gonna take your feet out wide, slight turn out of the toes, come down, and then come back up. So we're going down and then driving up. Now notice the angle of my knee, yeah, I do my shin. I do let my shin come forward and my knee come forward for this one, but I am trying to push my hips back. Those of you that are tight in your inner thigh, you will feel a stretch, that is a good thing, okay? But just keep it nice and controlled. It works your glutes, it works your quads, it kind of just works the whole leg, okay? But it's a really, really good exercise as well, especially for inner thighs. Last but not least, we're gonna work the side lying hip raise. Some of you will, have know, will know this one already. Um, it's one of my favorites. If you weaken the shoulders, you'll really need to push the floor away here. Your glute is working. One leg lifts off, bottom leg is bent, and we're lifting up like this. So driving the hip up towards the ceiling. The temptation in this one is to open up through the back, is to collapse in the shoulder, and what that's doing is working your lower back, and it's not so great on your shoulder, you feel really sore in that area. So this is a really good one for the top part of the glute and your core as well, okay? So we have 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You don't really need to concentrate on that because I'm gonna be in charge of it. I've got my timer ready. We're starting with the warm up. challenger, are you ready? Okay, so we've got a two and a half minute warm up. Don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through those moves if you've already forgotten them again, but let's try and make this nice and dynamic. Remember, if you feel overwhelmed at any time, if I'm moving too quickly, pause the video, take a chill, figure it out, and then come back in when you're ready, okay? But I am gonna keep the pace up. I want you to be challenging yourself. If I move too slowly, you guys are gonna think that the workout is just slow moving. I need you to be constantly pushing all the time, particularly when you're in a workout. Okay, let's go. Two and a half minutes. So I'll start from this end. Bend, stretch forward. Come into your push up. Lower down. Lift everything off. Press back to down dog. <coughs> we'll go left leg, left arm. Back down, down dog. Right leg, right arm. Back to down dog. Walk the hands back to the feet. Now, as you stand up, try and use your glutes to do it. So push the hips forward, feel your glutes squeeze. Stretch, walk it out, drop, lift, back, right. This time, twist, left, twist. So you'll know that I moved a lot faster then. Squeeze the glutes, drive them forward. Down, forward, drop, up, back. Right leg and left leg. We wanted to move in a smooth way. Starting to really get a lot of circulation throughout the body with this full body warm up. Press back, right leg. Heart rate is starting to lift. We're halfway through this warm up. Press it back, lift, nice and dynamic. Down, forward, drop, lift. Back, left leg. Remember, if it's not making it all the way, when you try and step like it gets stuck here, just grab the ankle, pull it further forward. Reach up, back, down dog, slam the glutes forward, slam the hips forward, yeah? So down, forward, drop, everything off. If you're feeling crunchy in the lower back when you do that one, then just swap it out for Cobra. I'll show you what Cobra is in a second. Squeeze. So if you're here and you need to, drop your knees to the floor and then from there, just lift everything off like that. Press back and we're going left, reach, back, right, reach, back, hands up, squeeze. 23 seconds to go. Drop. Oh, nice and warm through the shoulders. Even though we're not doing any upper body stuff, it's always nice to wake up the whole body. Squeeze, one more. We've got eight seconds. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, come to the top of your mat, feet together, core tight, hands on hips, standing up tall. Three, two, one, we'll get started with that. Maybe actually this is a good time to have a quick drink of water and we'll get straight into the workout. So, step back lunge, here we go. Step that right leg back, yeah? Remember, drive through the heel, stand up. So back, stand up, back, stand up. Each time, knee kisses the floor. Don't let it slam. It's gonna force you to be really controlling in your movements, which is a really good thing. Now, I want you to make sure your ribs stay down, core stays nice and tight, and you lean that body forward as you come down. Think about the hip doing some of the movement as well, yeah? To really drive this forward, almost like a lever. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up. It's not yoga, but we can sync up the breath with the movement to keep our mind focused. Good, we have 15 seconds to figure out what's next, and it's the step back lunge on the other side. Okay, so nine seconds, we're gonna step this left leg back. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, this is about your legs. It's not about squeezing and tensing through the upper body. So I need you to train the legs to do the movement while the upper body stays nice and relaxed. Drive, core tight, leaning forward. Now I might look like a bit of a weirdo having my hands all over my body like this, but what I've got is one hand on my glute, the other hand on my stomach, and it's just a bit of a tactile reminder here of what I'm remembering to activate, rather than just kind of unconsciously moving through this sequence. We've got 10 seconds left. Belly in nice and tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, 15 seconds to get us down to the floor. So coming onto your back, I'll keep this close to us. We've got the right leg is gonna lift off. Left leg is down on the floor. Three, two, one. Drive it up. Keep this knee bent. You can even put one hand on it as a sort of reminder. I don't wanna keep the leg up towards the ceiling and I don't want it out in front of you. Keep the knee in, which is gonna help tuck the tailbone. And try and move at the same pace. Like I'm sort of moving at this sort of imaginary beat in my head. And it's that imaginary beat that I try and stick to on both sides. We've got 15 seconds left on this side. Oh my gosh, my butt is burning on this left side. Keep those hips going up nice and high. Core nice and tight. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. 15 seconds to get the feeling back in my butt. So we'll go right side, remember. Make adjustments with the feet in order to feel it in the right place, okay? And that right place, or well, the place that I want you to really feel it in is your glute. So if you move your foot further away, you're gonna feel it more in your hamstring. If you move it closer, you'll feel it more in the quad. And somewhere in between that, yeah, on that spectrum, is where we feel it perfectly in the glute. Now, you have to put your mind into the muscle. You can't just expect it to kind of switch on, particularly if you spend a lot of time sitting on it and it switches off in your day-to-day -day life. So, close your eyes, we've only got 10 seconds left anyway, but really think about that extra burn in that right glute. Good. Knees hug in, come up. We've got the lateral lunge, okay? I can't remember if I told you how many sets we're doing, but it's three. So yeah, this is gonna be intense. Okay, toes slightly turned out, feet wide. Let's go, one side, sorry, left side first. And drive up. So push back, drive up. Push back, drive up. From the side, it looks like this. So I'm pushing my butt back, standing up. Toes are turned out. My knee does bend over my ankle but not to the point where my foot comes off. Another thing I want you to make sure of is that your knee is not dropping in. So push the knee out, stand up, out. I'm also keeping my spine 
nice and straight. I'm not rounding here. Drive. You can play with the depth. Knee crack. Yes, yeah, you go super low. Might change sides. So you can play with going really deep here. Yogis, if you have the range of motion, if you have the flexibility to do it, I would challenge you to take your, that range and build the strength in that range. So for example, if you're flexible enough to go down like this, go down and build the strength to do multiple repetitions using that flexibility for a good cause, right? We don't wanna just increase our flexibility and have no strength. We wanna have both equal amounts of stability as well as flexibility. You don't have to go that deep. Yeah, we can stay up here, but I'm asking you to go as deep as you feel you can, maintaining that stability. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're going onto our side. So make sure you've got the left side down. Okay? Left side down. Right leg is lifted. Left forearm down. Ready. Yeah, we're ready. Let's go. Lift off. Two, three. So get that imaginary beat. Make sure you're not sagging into the shoulder. So you're really digging your elbow into the floor, pushing away. I'm just gonna move back a little because I'll be really pissed off if I watch this back and I was out of frame. <sighs> okay, here's where I start to wanna cheat a little. So I'm gonna make sure I tip my body down. And I'm really driving, thinking about the top part of my glute. That means 10 seconds, eight, seven, Six, strong top leg, push through, push through that glute burn. Two, one, oh my gosh, ow. 45 seconds of that is intense, particularly if you maintain that same beat. Okay, so nice, strong left leg. Keep it active. Tip down, not ready. Let's go. How's the hair? I'll be really annoyed again if I watch back the video and the bun's all flopping out. Oh my goodness, how's that left side, guys? Ow! Ooh. Okay, I'm not even gonna tell you how long we have left because it's more than you're gonna want. Drive, core tight. This side lying hip raise is intense. Think about the muscle you're trying to work, I need to rest. Come on, I'm gonna keep going for you guys. 15 seconds. Keep driving that elbow in, don't get saggy through the shoulder. Five, four, oh my god, it's gone frozen. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're back up here. Oh, hello beauty. Can't move. So we have eight seconds before we've got to do our step back lunges. This is only set two. We've got three of these babies. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're stepping. Left leg back, right leg back, sorry. Drive it up. Now I like to use my arms as a counterbalance, yeah? It's a really good one. Helps you balance through. If you put your hands in your hips, sometimes your upper body doesn't know how to counterbalance it. Particularly as your body starts to fatigue a little bit, guys, you're gonna want to use this. Oh dear, my phone's ringing. <laughs> Don't overtake us. 13 seconds, damn it. I thought maybe my, the phone call would have shut off the clock and then I would have an excuse to say oh guys we've got to have to take a break but no go to rest trusty iPhone and seconds pro timer app will not let that happen to us seven seconds other side okay who says body weight isn't a good workout definitely can be let's go and if you're starting to get really really good at this sequence let's say you've done it a couple of times Throw in a jump, yeah? Whoop, okay? But do it on both sides. So if you're feeling really comfortable with the sequence and you wanna take it further, don't start now, because this is the second side. You need to make sure you start on a clean set. 15 seconds to go. How's that form? 
rib cage in, chest up. Watch that knee. Make sure you're driving through the heel every time and rest. I feel very unfit. Okay, we're gonna come into our backs. Okay, Ugh. I've had a full weekend of no training and it's amazing how quickly you lose it. Let's go. So single leg glute bridge, find that beat, drive each time. So that's why I prefer to say, you know, maintain consistency. Don't worry about, you know, whether, um, how was I gonna go with that sentence? I got really distracted because I just wanna stop. My booty is shaking. That's right. The point I wanted to make, 15 seconds. The point that I wanted to make, guys, was that, mm, I'll make it after this. Keep going, stay with me, stay with me. Okay, here's the point. Exercise, your body is water. <laughs> I'm gonna make the point in a second. Mm. Oh my gosh, here we go, here we go. Drive, hopefully you guys didn't get as distracted as I did then. Driving through the heel. Okay, so. It only takes a little bit of time off your training for the body to adapt in whatever activity you replaced it with, okay? So let's say you replaced exercise with Netflix, <laughs> right? And you had a week of just kind of going, oh, I couldn't do it. Or it's not even that you're taking time to do Netflix. You've just had a really busy week at work. Oh my gosh, this right glute just wants to give up. Four seconds, guys. Your body is clever in that it's going to, make sure you stand up, is that it's going to prepare you feet wide for the activity that you're spending more of your time doing. And in this case, if it's sitting at a desk, your body is gonna make you better at sitting at a desk. Left side, push, drive. I'm gonna take it through my full range. So all the way down, all the way up. I'm gonna come here just in case I'm going out of frame. Drive. Push back. Drive. Oh, I can really feel the inner thighs working because you want to push into the inner thigh. Uh, sorry, push into the opposite leg as well. Watch that you're not dropping too far forward. Keep that chest up when you go down. Drive. Drive. Whoop. This is more like a Cossack squat now. So really going side and going deep. But remember, lateral lunge is fine as well. Okay, 15 seconds. So don't let your body adapt to just being good at sitting behind a desk, right? Make sure you keep your body moving. A little bit every day is better than just one session every month, you know? Rather than, a lot of the time people get into this habit of punishing. Yeah, punishing, it's sort of like, we'll take a week off and then we think, oh, I'm gonna smash it this week in the gym now that I've got some time off. I'm gonna go do, you know, 50 boot camp classes. And the problem with that is that suddenly you've gone from a week that was probably already stressful before with work to another week of like boot camp, which is a different kind of stress, but stress all the same. So it's not gonna be conducive to the results that you want. Drive, five seconds. Keep pushing through the heel. So sequences like this, good guys, down on our side. Oh, the sideline hip raise is the worst. So sequences like this that are small but manageable that you could fit into your day are perfect for those weeks when you can't, cannot get to the gym. When you literally like, oh my goodness, this is the week from hell. Don't give up your don't give up your exercise. Keep squeezing through the glute, drive. I'm gonna, it's not cheating, but I'm gonna support myself a little bit by putting my other hand on top. Yeah, just like this. Hopefully my mic's not rubbing. Okay, we have 17 seconds left. 
15 seconds. Watch that core, make sure you're not tipping open. Keep it together, keep that beat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I left glute. This is the worst bit when you swap because that left glute's already tired, doesn't wanna to have to stay up straight. Okay. Whew. I wanna say we're almost there, but we're kind of not. So just let's remember we're in this together. That's all we got, each other. Drop, lift. Drop, lift, just watch that pelvis. Yeah, no tipping open. It's gonna be really tempting to do it like this. I need you to stay down. That's why this extra hand can be really helpful. And just watch how you're driving that bottom foot into the floor. Don't come up onto the toe. Okay, keep it driving down. Almost there, guys. Push into the shoulder. Don't let it get saggy. Push through the pain. Nine. Eight, seven, oh, six, five, oh my God, four, three, two. Oh my God, I wanted that to be over. We have one more set. Stay with me, let's do this. I'm gonna quickly check, that it's still recording. Okay, I promise I didn't rest longer than 15 seconds. Oh, sorry, let's step the right leg back. The reason I did that check is because the last time I filmed something, I filmed a whole workout and it stopped five minutes in, so I had to double check. But we were filming. Drive, drive, because I was not doing this workout again. <laughs> I mean, not today. Anyway, driving. That glute is starting to get so tired, which is what we want. But just really watch your form. Don't let your knee drop in. Use those arms for support. Four seconds. Last set, guys, so let's just power through it. It'll be over really soon. Big breaths in, full breaths out. Sips of water if you need it. I'm gonna take one. If you're wondering, I don't know if you can see it. There's lots of weird shit going on in that water. And it's just because I've put water into my greens powder. Greens and magnesium powder. Just in case you're wondering, I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like if you guys are watching me work out on a big screen TV and you can see my weird water really clearly, you'll be like, ooh, what's the hit? Well, maybe you won't be. Maybe you'll be focused on the workout. Please watch that front heel. Do not let it come off the floor. How are those lunges looking? We're going right down to the floor, please. Your form should look exactly the same the whole way through. And I know it's probably not going to want to, but I'd rather us move slower, on a slower beat, do less repetitions, but really make sure that they're perfect. So let's just work on slightly slower repetitions. Drive up, come down. Think about really tucking the tailbone to lift. Drive, drive drive through that heel. Keep the hips tucked, tailbone tucked. If you need to hold that front leg to keep your hips in that position, go ahead and do it. Let's really try and get the tuck and the ribs down. Make sure you're coming all the way to the floor. We've got 15 seconds left. Last time you'll have to do this, guys. <sighs> Trying to keep my ribs down, core tight. Push into the whole foot, especially the heel. Two, one, okay. 15 seconds, changing size. Oh my goodness, we're almost there, okay? Enjoy the burn. Just knowing that we're really using those last little bits of energy that we've got in the glute. As much as it's intense, it's that intensity that we feel that's gonna facilitate, and I guess manifest the results that we're working so hard to achieve. If it's not burning, it's not working. Keep the glute down. That doesn't work for everything in life. Keep driving through the heel. Keep driving. Okay, I'm starting to feel it a little bit in my quad, so I'm gonna move my foot a little bit further forward. So I feel it a little bit more in the hamstring. I'm okay with feeling it in the hamstring because they need to work as well. 
but the quads are getting enough work in the lunges. So I wanna make sure that they get a break. Another thing you can do is lift the ball of the foot so that you emphasize what you're feeling in the back of the leg. I'm gonna give it my all. Oh my goodness. Okay, coming up. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> Legs are jelly. This is, you know, just body weight. Imagine if we were to add weights to this whole sequence. Yeah? So don't think that you need to go to a gym to get a good workout. You really don't. Okay, here we go to the left and come up. All the way down, all the way up. I'm gonna work on just pressing back. Pressing back, I'm not gonna go so deep this time. Just really work on feeling the sensations in the right muscles. I can feel that my knee wants to drop in because my glutes are getting a little bit tired. So I'm just gonna pull back on the variation I'm taking to make sure that I'm still working the muscles that I wanna work. 10 seconds, keep that knee tracking. Please watch it, don't let it drop inwardly. Make sure it's pushing out over the toes, out. Drop your body forward, good. Other side. Oh my goodness, we've still gotta get through those side lying hip raises, which I am dreading because my booty is on fire from them. It was from the first set. Okay, other side. Here we go. Who's shaking? Drive, come up. Oh, I can feel my inner thigh on that right side, on that left side, sorry, really working. So just don't move through this too quickly, okay? If you do, you're gonna potentially tear that inner thigh muscle, which we don't wanna do. We don't wanna obviously do too much damage to the body. Breathing, <laughs> how are we going? It's so funny, towards the end of a workout, I'll talk so much less because I'm just trying to survive 10 seconds. Knee out. Oh my God, I know what's coming and I'm dreading it. Who's dreading it? Good, okay. You ready? Sideline hip raise. Oh my gosh, I just don't want to even do it. Okay, leg comes in, other leg out on top. Nice tight core, let's tip down. Let's really give it our all, this side, okay? Let's go. Up. Last time you'll have to do it today. Maybe even this week. It's such a good exercise, you might want to sneak it in one more time. Just moving back. Don't know why I was creeping forward. I'm just trying to get closer to you. Keep going. 23 seconds to go. Let's really make sure we're working through that glute. Don't tip up. Keep the hips tipping down. 15 seconds. Think about the muscle you're trying to work. Oh my goodness, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. I couldn't even do the last one. Okay, good. I hope you guys are doing it with me and not just staring at me struggle. Um, okay, tipping down. This is my worst side. This right glute, here we go. Actually, no, I think the left glute is worse. Drive, doesn't matter. Either way, I'm gonna dig deep. Do you guys have a worse side? Send me a comment if you have a worse side. We can compare notes. <laughs> my left glute max is really strong, but my glute med, which is the top part on the left side, is weak. Oh my goodness. Right side, <laughs> my glute max is weak, but my glute med is stronger, but not today. 10 seconds, keep going. Don't take a leaf out of my book. I shouldn't be resting, but I'm literally burning. Oh my God, I said, I can't. <laughs> my glutes are completely gone. I mean, I'm not even sure if I can get up to say, see you later. So I think I'm just gonna, you know, be here for a while. Oh, and then I'm just getting chill. And then, oh my God, I can't even do that. It's like nothing is comfortable here. I hope your glutes are feeling the same way. If they're not, do that whole workout with a set of kettlebells and then tell me how it feels. Well done if you got all the way through it. Try adding weight, try adding jumps if you feel like you need to make it a little bit harder. Otherwise, see you next time. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up to even stop the camera. Okay, okay, we're good. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. <sighs>